What's up? What's going on? Um, I think we're gonna paint today. Eighth graders at Mrs. Valento's art class at Lincoln Park Middle School and art students at the College of St. Scholastica practice the fine art of collaboration. This is our last day together here at uh, the building. So glad you guys could be here to help out. The design draws on ideas from the kids and Thunder's signature style to create a distinctive mural for the school. So this mural is uh, an image that is concepted by the work of students who are asked to hand in drawings based on their feelings of growing up in Duluth, growing up in Lincoln Park. The whole class did uh, like did a couple of cool drawings like as a group, and then we like handed them in, and he said he'll put like a couple of our things. It kind of looks like a sturgeon. My job was to take all the drawings and turn them into one cohesive mural uh, image that could be um, projected onto this canvas here, and then the students would sit and work on it. You know, a lot of this stuff here um, will need outlining. So if you feel like it, I would just have you go along, like this right here, maybe down this edge. One of the things that I like about this kind of uh, work is that Sort of reminds me of like comic book style. Yeah, it makes everything pop. It looks super clean. I've been visiting the Lincoln Park Middle School since the beginning stages of planning out this mural. So I got to see um, the concept design when Jonathan Thunder brought in the design he'd made from all the kids' sketches. And Maybe I'll mix you enough for that skateboard or two. It was cool to see all the kids get excited about um, seeing their own designs put in the mural and then, you know, blocking it in on the panels and painting. It's been interesting seeing it transform. It's more like everyone's art because uh, it really isn't one individual's. That's looking good. I don't, th I don't think you need me to draw that in for you. I mean, collaboration, it requires a different way of making things and that you have to have some of it's a little bit of a division of labor, but there's also a lot of ch uh, trust that's required. The biggest learning experiences for everyone, myself included, is how to allow people to work on it. You know, especially if you're trying to, you have an idea in your mind of what the product is going to be, and then, you know, things change as multiple people work on it. What if I have you come over here to this panel? And if you can kind of like uh, get in here and maybe just carry that line that you made there through here and here. In the concept thing, I integrated my, my style with their style. That was part of my job as the designer is to sort of make, take what they put together and then kind of bring it a little bit into my lens. So that's, uh, that's where you'll see some, uh, like this gal will have three bunny ears and then an antler which is a theme that I'm working with this year on multiple projects. So you're welcome to put more stars on there if you want, but also use that as a guide. They followed along. They followed along as we kind of evolved the concept in there. You know, they still feel like they have ownership over it. Let's keep doing this until we think it looks right. I think it was a pretty fun process. I learned a few painting techniques and um, what it's like to have to uh, work together with other people instead of just doing your own artwork. You know, you're learning to work with people, you're learning how to communicate effectively, you're learning how to teach, you're learning how to learn from other people at the same time. Kind of fascinating to see other people work on the thing and then see it after a couple of weeks or something. There are a lot of more effective ways of doing things that you don't realize until you're around someone else working on it. And so, you know, we all, we're all learning at the same time. 
I was one of the first people to work on this, and it was just a neutral blue with some outline. And then now that I see it with most the flat color, it's getting better with all the shapes and stuff coming together. I think it's really cool to see how you start off at the beginning and like a lot of people not knowing as much and then like like including me because I have no idea what I'm doing but then you get towards what you th at the end and you see how everyone kind of like touched that and touched this and how it's all cohesive in one big um, really cool painting. I like the lighthouse. I like a lot of it. Um. The Space Explorer represents the adventure you know that will take place after these young people leave Lincoln Park Middle School and uh, they will go out into the world, they'll go out into the universe and uh, do great things and uh, they'll always have this beacon of light showing them the way home where they came from because they will always have come from here. What do you think it's going to be like to see it on the wall at school? I think it's going to be pretty cool because um, people will be looking at it when it's in its finished product and I can be like, wow, I, I helped make that. <laughs>